you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel you guys in today's video I will be sharing with you my family curriculum picks for the 2023 2024 homeschooling year so if any of you guys are new here to my channel this upcoming homeschool year I will have a sixth grader a kindergartner and a preschooler so as you guys can see that age gap is pretty big and it's not too many subjects that we can actually do all together but we do do this one subject together and that is Bible you guys um, I really love separating out my Bible from my formal curriculum so I have a lot <laughs> of resources that I'm going to share with you guys today when it comes to like our Bible resources and what we use in our morning time I'm going to share with you guys how I create like my own morning basket by picking and choosing all of the resources that I have collected over the years I have a lot of Bible resources because I have been collecting these resources for the past four years and I love the specific uh, things that I have to curate my own uh, morning baskets. I love changing out like our poetry books uh, according to the seasons and all of our resources and things that I add in it according to the season. So our morning basket, it typically changes every six weeks when I change over like our next term is when I typically will change out some of the resources I have in our like uh, morning basket. So without further ado, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm going to share with you guys all of the um, curriculum and the Bible resources that I will be using this upcoming homeschool year. Okay, you guys, the first resource that I use for a Bible, of course, is our Bibles. <laughs> um, you guys, this right here is my women's study Bible. And I actually had this one for over a year. And I really enjoy it because this Bible actually has like a commentary at the bottom of it. So when I am reading like scriptures and things like that with my daughter, I'm able to like break it down in simple form for her. So she's able to understand the passages and what we um, have read for that day. So this is my Bible. And then this right here is my oldest daughter's Bible. Uh, it's really, really cute because she actually has the Bible where she can color in it. So uh, this homeschooling year, we have been reading the book of Psalms. So some of the passages or some of the um, the books of Psalms, she actually was able to like color in her actual Bible. So she really is enjoying using her Bible. Both of these Bibles are in the NIV version. And um, yeah, we've been really, really enjoying um, our Bibles. So um, yeah, as my younger kiddos get older, I will get them their own Bible. But again, and my younger kiddos, you guys, they are what? <laughs> They're five and three. So we have a little bit of time for them. So this is like our main thing, of course, is like our actual Bible. So uh, some of like my favorite story Bibles that I do have is this 101 favorite story Bibles or favorite stories from the Bible. This actually went along with our master books curriculum that we use in our first year of homeschool. And I still held on to this. So this just has like a whole bunch of uh, stories in the Bible. It has a few like little comprehension questions and a memory verse. And uh, my daughter actually loved this one in the third grade. So I definitely think this is going to be a Bible that I'm going to use uh, for my younger kiddos coming up right now now I am actually using this tiny truths illustrated Bible for them right now uh, in the morning and what I do is I just pick like a specific Bible story that I want to go over with them and they really really enjoy this one right here so uh, this is the Bible I'm using now and soon they'll kind of like bump up to this one right here in the Bible story so this is what I'm doing for my like, younger kiddos Another Bible that I have is this one right here. I actually got this one off of Book Outlet and it's my first or my illustrated Bible I can read. So as my uh, youngest daughter, she is learning how to read. I can't wait for us to kind of like go through this little Bible and she can like read it to me. So um, this is a level one reader and the sh stories in it are really, really short. So um, when it comes to that time where she's reading fluently, I really hope we can kind of like read this illustrated Bible together. So these are like my, Bible stories and my actual Bibles that I use in our um, like homeschool and everything like that. But for right now, like I said before, these are kind of like just shelved right now. And the main Bibles that I have in my morning basket is this one for my younger kiddos. And this is Brielle's Bible. Okay, you guys. Now, as far as like him and him study, I really have been enjoying these heritage uh, him studies from the Heritage Mom blog. And they're so much fun. Like you really don't even have to print this off. You can just use it digitally 
slowly because what it does is it gives you like a history of that hem and then when you have it on your digital file you can like click here and read the rest of all the history of the specific hem all of these right here are links to the different genres you will be listening to the hymn with. And my daughter really, really loved like hearing like the contemporary version, then hearing a soulful version, then hearing a country version. And um, she really, really enjoyed this one. So we completed this uh, volume one of the Heritage Mom Hymn Study. Uh, we completed it in our first semester. I really wish we would have kind of like took our time with it because we were just really enjoying it. So um, this is the volume one. And then this homeschooling year, we will pick up volume two. I didn't want to start it now uh, because I wanted us to kind of like stretch this out. So um, we're going to uh, go over this. And these are all the hymns that are in the second um, volume two that we will be doing. So uh, we're going to do volume two. And I think if we finish this early, I'm just going to circle back around volume one because we really enjoyed listening to all the music, learning a history about the hymns. And my oldest daughter loved it. The younger ones, they just like listen to the hymns and singing them. So these are like uh, what I have been using for like our hymns. Uh, him study. Hey guys, these are actually my devotion books that I have. And these are for those days where I want to get to Bible, but I want to be able to read like a quick devotion um, and kind of like move forward. So these are some of the devotionals that I use. These are like my really short three minute devotionals for girls that uh, my oldest daughter will read to me. These are really, really cute. A lot of the messages behind them is really, really inspiring. We finished this book this year. And then last year we read this book was How God Grows a Courageous Girl devotional book. And now since we finished this one we're kind of like shifting this one till we get to the end of the school year because I do want to use another devotional for her I haven't picked out the devotional I want to use for her just yet but these were just simple cheapy ones that I picked up from Amazon when we just had those shorter Bible days one of the devotions that I used for my younger kiddos this homeschooling year was big thoughts for little people ABCs to help grow you and this actually went with their gentle and classical preschool that we did this homeschooling year you guys I love these little uh this little devotional for my kiddos we actually are still using this one and I love how it has a little poem at the top like B is for behave it means doing what's right be happy and helpful do not argue or fight these are little comprehension questions that they have that they have to look at the picture and answer them and then it always ends it off with a cute little memory verse so I am still using this book even though we have finished a gentle and classical preschool because I loved it so much now these right here are actually some family uh bible time uh, stories that my mom got me and these are going to be for when all of my kiddos are a little bit older because the stories are more in depth and they have a lot of comprehension questions and things like that but my mom went ahead and got this set when she was at the uh, bookstore for me the ABC bookstore she was able to grab these on sale so I have all of these for my kiddos and um, when they get older they all will be able to use these I may be able to pull these out and use these for Brielle this upcoming homeschool year uh, when it comes to uh, going into depth in some of these Bible stories. Uh, but these are some of the pages. I love how it has like the history and things like that with it as well. So um, yeah, so these are some uh, family devotional books that my mom purchased for me and they're really, really pretty. And I can't wait to dig into these. And I do think that this probably would be a good year for me to dig into with Brielle at least. And then I will have them again saved for my younger kiddos when they get up there. Now, you guys, for like our specific faith and our specific uh, doctrine things that we use, I'm going to share that with you guys right now. Um, I actually use an online website called Grace Link that has like my daughters, uh, all of them. They have them uh, separated into age categories as far as their Sabbath school lessons that I'm able to pull off. They have like songs and uh, Bible videos and things like that. And a lot of times, especially on like those days where um, I'm kind of busier in the morning, I'm still cooking breakfast, but I want them to start off Bible. I will go ahead and put their grace link on and I will have like the uh, the online read them their Bible study, which is really, really cool. It's really, really helpful for me. And then I can come in on the back end and we can finish off with their memory verse and their like power text and things like that. But that is one of the online Bible uh, curriculums that I actually use for my kiddos that's specific to our uh, faith. These are some other books that I actually use for them. And we kind of like rotate out 
uh, using these books each year. So this year we have been reading with my oldest daughter, What We Believe. And uh, last year we actually used this one right here, which was The Fruits of the Spirit. And then the last book that I have is God's Ten Promises. This one actually goes over all of the Ten Commandments. So um, again, okay, so this one, Helping Children Understand the Ten Commandments. This one is Helping Children Develop a Christ-like Character. And this one is just Helping Children Understand the Beliefs of Our Specific Religion. So uh, these are all of are like specific doctrine and faith-based things that I do with my kiddos. It has like a lot of comprehension questions and things like that. So what I would do is I will pick like a lesson and we will go over this lesson for the whole week. And sometimes we will do like the teaching tips and things like that. Uh, so these are like our specific faith-based things that I do pull out and I use. And I, I typically keep one of these in our basket and I take the whole year to go over it. So um, yeah, so next year I may kind of like circle back and kind of go back over the Ten Commandments um, because we didn't go over this one for what a couple of years now so I really love uh, using our specific faith and doctrine um, beliefs within our homeschool. Okay you guys something else that I love sneaking in our like morning basket is like science and art. I actually picked up these books right here from Masterbooks on a flash sale so each of these books I believe were only like $1.99 so I'm so happy that I grabbed all three of them so what these are are these are little um these are little passages of specific like animals and things like that uh, that we can go over. This was really, really fun when we did a lot of um, life science in our fourth grade year. We studied mammals. So in the morning, I will have Brielle pick one of these and we will read like fun facts about uh, different mammals. So uh, we actually enjoyed this one a whole lot. Um, it really paired well in our morning basket and our overall flow last school year. Um, I also have this one right here, which goes over uh, all of the different types of birds. It's like, again, it's really short passage of different facts about a specific bird. And um, you guys, even my younger kiddos, you would be really surprised how much they pick up when it comes to specific facts. So I have these two books right here that we haven't done just yet, the ones about the birds. And this one right here is about all of the sea creatures. So I can kind of like pull these out next homeschooling year because my oldest daughter is going to be going over life science again. So we might just uh, use these uh, in our morning basket and kind of like read one from each. I'm not too sure. I'm going to kind of like let my oldest daughter pick what she wants to do when it comes to, um, I guess, reading a little uh, tidbits and facts about specific uh, animals in our morning basket. But these are really, really fun and um, we enjoyed them. I'm so happy I caught these on a flash sale. Now, as far as art, you guys, um, and sneaking in a lot of art and art history, I really love these books. It's called Come Look With Me, Discovering Art for Children. So this one right here is Discovering African-American Art for Children. They have a whole bunch of other collections or other books in their collections. And I do want to begin collecting these. I've seen these on thrift books really, really affordably. So when we finish this book right here, I think I'm going to begin adding to my collection. So uh, what this is, is like a simple page picture study. So uh, what will or how we would use this book is that uh, my daughter will study the picture. And then um, I will answer I will ask her these questions. And we will read a little bit about the art and the artist. Um, it tells us how this particular portrait was painted. And I really love this. This is a sneaky way to sneak in like art and art history uh, within our homeschool. We haven't finished this book right here. So I definitely know um, we will continue to pick this up. I would typically only do like the art history one time a week and then the science book will be one time a week so these will only get looped in two times in our overall morning basket okay you guys i'm going to briefly share with you all of the poetry books that i have you guys my daughter loves reading a, a poetry book at the end of like our bible time it really just like puts the icing on the cake for her so this one right here is the one we're using right now which is hip-hop speaks to children we are really enjoying the cd so this just has a whole bunch of different poems in it uh, that we have been enjoying reading in our morning time so this right here is the one we're currently reading you guys sing a song of seasons you guys this was one of my best purchases uh, we definitely love this nature uh, poetry book and we uh, use this we circle this one in and out of our homeschool year another one that I have that we use this upcoming homeschool year with my littles is the llama who had no pajamas and this one just had really cute sweet poems for their age group and um, they really really enjoyed them and this poetry book went with a gentle and classical preschool 
school. So I think I'm going to continue to loop this one in for my younger kiddos. Another poetry book that I have, you guys, Maya Angelou. We read this in our second year of homeschool. I have Out of Wonder. This has another, or these are other um, African-American uh, poets in here. And you guys, the illustrations in this one is beautiful. So we really, really enjoyed this poetry book. I believe we finished this one in our first semester this homeschooling year. I also have Under the Christmas Tree, which is a Christmas poetry book, you guys. Uh, as you can tell, we absolutely love reading poetry in our homeschool. So this is one that I put in our morning basket uh, throughout the month of December. So this is a really cute one. We really enjoyed it this Christmas. Uh, I have Just Like Me. I Actually purchased this one on book outlet and Brielle really really enjoyed reading this one I think we started this one last summer so as we finish off the books you guys what I do is I just recirculate my poetry books uh, in our morning basket and this is another one I absolutely love adding in my morning basket this is just uh, affirmations for my kiddos uh, and they love it and my younger ones love it a lot because it actually uh, does affirmations in alphabet form so uh, when I was going over like the letter of the week I will actually pull out this letter as well um, with my younger kiddos and Brie as well. So we really, really enjoy this one. And you guys, the illustrations in it is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is one of my kiddos' favorite pages, especially with the girls with the little uh, Afro puffs. They love this one. So yeah. Okay, you guys, and just like that, this is how simple I will take all of the resources that I showed you guys and just pick out one from each of those categories, whichever one we enjoy, and create a morning basket. So this right here is how our morning basket is looking right now, and these are the resources that we're using, minus the uh, hem study, because I wanna start that up in August. So um, uh, other than that, everything in the basket right here, we are using right now, and that's kinda like how I create our own morning basket with curated resources for uh, me and my homeschool. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoy seeing like all of the resources that I have and uh, how I make my own morning basket when it comes to like our special Bible time in the morning. Now, um, I do put a lot of things in my morning basket and realistically, every single day, we do not get to every last piece of uh, the things that I have in my basket. Some of the things I put in a loop and um, I just wanna touch on these things. Um, in our homeschool, having this special Bible time with with my kiddos is really really important I love seeing them grow in their faith and I love uh, being able to uh, I guess feed them and plant these seeds especially for them um, here in our homeschool so you guys uh, thank you so much for watching if you have any questions about any of the resources or where to find them feel free to leave me uh, any comments in the comment section below and I will try my best to link as many things as I can for you guys but um, as always thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one Bye.